Star Wars 2023 lineup is here, Deadpool continues time-traveling shenanigans, and a nine-hour cut of Avatar The Way of Water reportedly exists. All this and more coming up on the Weekly Slate. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Slate. I'm your host, James Cockrum. And first up on the show in Netflix news, that 90s show is the gift that keeps on giving. On Thursday, a trailer shows the arrival of Donna and Eric's daughter, as well as the couple themselves. This is paired along with the return of Jackie, Kelso, and Fez as well. We see Jackie and Kelso back in the kitchen, Fez is doing Kitty's hair, as well as Eric and Donna receiving some foot-in-the-rear advice from Red on parenting. The trailer also brings fans back to familiar locations with the kids on the water tower and toking it up in the basement. Fans can look forward to that 90s show when it premieres on Netflix January 19th, 2023. In Christmas news, ho ho hope you enjoyed season one of Santa Clauses because it's been renewed for a second season. This year, Tim Allen returned to star in a sequel series to his hit trilogy of Santa Claus films that now shows his character Scott preparing for retirement. A bit of a change, seeing as he caused the last Santa Claus to fall to his death. Apparently not every Santa needs to unalive for a new one to take over. If you hadn't had a chance to check out the series because you don't have Disney+, Plus, then fear not, because the first two episodes are going to be airing on cable. If you've missed the prior two airings, you can catch the show on ABC and the Disney Channel, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. This isn't the first time Disney has used this marketing tactic, as they've also applied this to Andor on Thanksgiving Day. It'll be interesting to see how Disney continues this tactic in the future. Perhaps Disney Plus Originals will become a holiday staple here in the States. In Avatar news, anytime James Cameron comes up, it's uh, just as entertaining as his films. The man's proven he's the main character time and time again by visiting the Titanic in a submarine, helping the negotiations of Gamma de Toro's father's kidnapping, and being punched in the face by Ed Harris for pushing him to his limits on set. James Cameron doesn't do what James Cameron does for James Cameron. James Cameron does what James Cameron does because James Cameron is James Cameron. But now, a report has come out that not only did he turn in a nine-hour director's cut of Avatar The Way of Water, Cameron also insisted that it be given full visual effects so he could create his three-hour cut that is in theaters now. If you're hoping to see the full cut, I wouldn't hold your breath. A nine-hour cut would have to be released as a miniseries, and the opening weekend brought in $441.7 million, under projections leaving about $1.5 billion left to break even. If you're one of the madman that hopes to see this cut, then you better start buying a lot more tickets. In Marvel news, everyone's favorite merc with a mouth. Oh, hello. Third film has an interesting update. As many already knew, the third entry in the Deadpool film franchise is set to include Hugh Jackman back in the role of Wolverine. IMDb has now released a synopsis that states, quote, a weary Wolverine finds himself recovering from his injuries when he comes across a loudmouth Deadpool who has time traveled forward to his greatest pal and hopes to befriend the wild beast and to team up to take down a foe that they both have in common. Jackman spoke out on the time travel, revealing that the device can take the two across timelines, so the Logan timeline isn't screwed up. When the viewers last saw Deadpool, he was jumping around time in a post credit scene, leaving it safe to say that this film will pick up right where he left off. Reynolds took to Twitter a while back to tweet at Miss Minutes. Perhaps we'll see Deadpool and Wolverine forced to take on the TVA. As it's currently been unclear how Deadpool will fit into the MCU, the Timeline Forcing Agency would be a perfect way to blend the franchises. But who do you think this common enemy will be? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, in Star Wars news, an official lineup has been revealed for 2023, bringing back some old favorites and hopefully introducing some new ones as well. The lineup includes Bad Batch Season 2, the Mandalorian Season 3, Young Jedi Adventures, Star Wars Visions Volume 2, Ahsoka, and Skeleton Crew. The first two have solid release dates of January 4th and March 1st, respectively, while the others are still up in the air. The Young Jedi Adventures is supposed to be for a younger audience, so the fact that it's set in the High Republic will surely bring in fans, as it'll be the first time for their glimpse into the air on the small screen. The Ahsoka series has been highly anticipated since her first live-action appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2, and will follow the former Jedi after the fall of the Empire she investigates a rising threat to the galaxy. Uh, there have been casting rumors for Ezra, but one can only cross their finger we'll see him and the rest of the Rebels crew. Just as the first volume did, Visions Volume 2 is set to take an interesting spin 
This time, the Animation Studios feature will be from Chile, France, Japan, India, Ireland, Spain, South Africa, South Korea, the UK, and the US. As for Skeleton Crew, the production has gone through its fair share of issues, yet is still slated to release in winter of 2023. Reports came in that much of the staff had departed from the series, yet it's still soldiering on as new images continue to come out from production. All in all, it looks like 2023 will be a huge year for Star Wars as the franchise continues to find its footing after the Skywalker saga. Hey, thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with Culture Slate content. You can join our public Discord server where we discuss all things Star Wars, Marvel, and pop culture. We'll be taking next week off, but we'll be back after the holidays. Happy holidays, and be sure to tune in every week to stay cultured with the Weekly Slate.